please like and subscribe. Let's grow in AI basketball. Thank you. Cascade Hoops Talk, bringing the world NAI basketball one podcast at a time. Cascade Hoops Talk, Billy D. Well, it's Monday. Happy Monday, January 8th. Tons of NAI basketball this weekend. We're going to talk about all those games, all that action, and give you conference updates so you can see how all, all the games this weekend affected the conferences. Uh, first, uh, we'll talk about the weather this weekend. You probably heard there was a lot of weather out here in the Northwest, and there was. We have these thing called mountains, and it snows ferociously at times in the mountains. But credit every team in the Northwest. They all made their appointed place on Friday and Saturday. Uh, one team, I heard the bus driver was going to go eight hours out of their way to try to go 80 miles. Uh, I hope that didn't happen, but that was the plan. The, the driver wanted to avoid a storm. Uh, and another team I know showed up at a gym 45 minutes before game time, and they had to suit up and go. But credit everybody. They made their appointed place. And everybody uh, got through the weather. That's kind of what we do out here, just chain up and go. So let's start with the Crossroads League. Uh, that's where Grace is, and Grace is ranked number one in the country. So Spring Arbor, let's take a quick look at this. Spring Arbor fell to Taylor. Uh, Spring Arbor had really been on a roll. They've slipped a little bit recently. Bethel, big win against uh, North Mount Vernon Nazarene, they beat them 96-89. We'll talk about Indiana Wesleyan and Grace in a moment. But Huntington, they won again 94-89 at or hosting Marion. That was a good win for them. Keep your eye on, on uh, Huntington. So let's look at the uh, top 25 teams now out of uh, – sorry, my – so Grace College, uh, they beat Goshen 108-78. Cade uh, Gibbs, 16 points, 6 rebounds. Big Elijah Malone, 22 points, 8 rebounds. Grace goes to 15-0. and 15-0. and 0. Uh, Huntington is their next uh, opponent. Huntington's playing good ball, just like I said a moment ago. and But they'll have to go to Winona Lake. On, that'll be on Wednesday. Another great game in the crossroads this weekend. St. Francis was in Marion at Lucky Arena. Overtime game, Indiana Wesleyan was able to hold on and win this game, uh, 83-78. Javen Buchanan, 32.6 rebounds, and Griffin Clee were 25.7 rebounds. Big, big win for Indiana Wesleyan because St. Francis is playing really good, and it seems like every week they're better and better. They're 13-2 and now, and they will face Taylor, their crosstown rival, on Wednesday. So let's look at the standings now. Grace continues to be 5-0. and Bethel now is 4-1 and along with Indiana Wesleyan. And then a game back from that is Huntington. So it's starting to take shape with the Crossroads League. We'll have to continue to watch that. In the Sooner Conference, a couple games uh, without outside of the top 25. We want to talk about Science and Arts won. They beat Oklahoma Panhandle. UNT Dallas won as well as Mid-America Christian. They nipped Central Christian. John Brown beat Sagu. That was a huge win for John Brown. And then we'll talk about Langston right now. Langston, they beat uh, they beat Central, oh, Southwestern Christian, uh, 100 to 59. It is a nail biter, I tell you. Uh, Michael Wright, 17 points, four rebounds. Anthony Roy, 20 points, seven rebounds. Langston now goes to 13 and 0. Incidentally, now Grace, and with Port Point Park getting beat, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Langston and Grace are the two unbeaten teams in the country now. Langston is going to face Texas Wesleyan on Thursday. That should be a good game. And then Wayland Baptist, uh, they won as well. They beat Texas Wesleyan 69-62. Uh, Linton Brown, 27 points, 3 rebounds. Quentin Coleman, 13 points, 2 rebounds. They go to 10-3. And they're going to play Sagu on Thursday. So now in the in the SAC, let's see if I can get that up there. There we go. So Langston has the lead. 
John Brown's only a game back. Science and Arts, we- uh, Wayland Baptist, and Sagu are all a, a, a game back. That's gonna that's a pretty tight race, and we'll have to see how that plays out over the next few weeks. In the red, <clears throat> excuse me, in the Red River Athletic Conference, uh, big uh, big game there is Paul Quinn upset uh, LSU Shreveport. We'll talk about that in a moment. North American won. Uh, Southwest beat uh, Texas A&M. Texas College won, and we didn't get a score on LSU Alexandria. Let's talk about that uh, LSU Shree Point game. Shree Point game. They went to Paul Quinn, played on that dark court. They lost 81 to 78. Norris Williams he scored 30 points, four rebounds for Paul Quinn. Richard Lemboy 32 points, three rebounds. LSU Shreveport they go to 10 and two, and they're going to play Jarvis Christian on Thursday. And then also in the Red River. Xavier, they beat Our Lady of the Lake. That was a good win for them. Corey Wells, 25 points, six rebounds. And TJ Jones, 22 points, three rebounds. They go to nine and two, and they're going to play LSU Alexandria on Thursday. So let's look at these standings. Let's take a moment. LSU Shreveport still leads the way along with Xavier at five and one. A game back is LSU Alexandria. Remember how they struggled earlier? And North American, and then another game back, Texas College and Jarvis Christian. So a lot of these conferences are starting to shape up. Some of them have just started to play conference games. In the uh, in the uh, Cascade Conference. Now remember, in the Cascade Conference, they play on Friday and Saturday. College of Idaho, uh, they just manhandled Walla Walla. LC State, they won in, in overtime against Eastern. LC State uh, is 7-1 and one in conference. Uh, Bushnell won, Corbin won, and then we'll talk about Oregon Tech and College of Idaho in just a minute here. So College of Idaho, their two games this weekend, uh, they they beat Walla Walla, as I said, 101-41. Samaji Morgan, 16 points, 4 assists. Alex Germer, uh, 16 points. So they're 12-2. and two. Well, let's go to two uh, – Saturday night before we go through that. The next night, uh, they played uh, LC State. This was a, kind of in a highly anticipated game. It was played in Caldwell. College of Idaho won this game 81-71. to Again, Samaji Morgan, 19 points, 3 assists. Drew Wyman out of Great Falls, 15 points, 2 rebounds. So College of Idaho is 12-2, and and they're going to play Corbin and Bushnell this weekend. Those are going to be two good tests for College of Idaho because they have to travel to the va- We call it to the Valley. Oregon Tech, uh, on Friday night, they played Warner Pacific. They beat them pretty handily, 89-41. Keegan Shiver, 17 points, 5 rebounds. Blake Jensen, 16 points, 7 rebounds. Saturday night, uh, Oregon Tech beat Multnomah, 82-75. Uh, Blake Jensen, 15 points, 7 rebounds. And then uh, Jay Elmer right here, uh, he came in. Uh, he's a he's known as a shooter. He came in the second half. He hit six out of seven uh, in the second half. It was a really it was a tied game. He just broke it completely open. Uh, big 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 night for him as a as a young player. Uh, Oregon Tech goes to eleven and two, and they're going to face Walla Walla on Friday. So here's where here's where they're at in the Cascade Conference again. A lot of games played, but look at this: College of Idaho seven and one, LC State seven, Oregon Tech six and one, Corbin six and one, Southern Oregon six and one, and then Bushnell just a game back five and two. But this won't stand because College of Idaho has to play Corbin and Bushnell, LC State has to play Oregon Tech and Southern Oregon. So these teams are all going to play each other this weekend, two games not two games each but there's each one plays you know somebody else within this top five so that's going to start to shape out more after this next week the kansas athletic conference a lot of games york york they won ottawa ottawa won bethel beat avila we'll talk about oklahoma wesley in a minute here's a big big game we'll talk about it but mcpherson beat southwestern again again st mary won and then Kansas Wesleyan beat Tabor. I, I don't know if everybody knows, but uh, Coach Monson uh, played at Tabor and coached at Tabor. So, big win for Kansas Wesleyan. 
that Southwestern game, they, they got beat by, they were at McPherson, they got beat there 86, 83 for McPherson, Owen Braxmeyer, 23 points, four rebounds, Curtis Rose, 22 points, eight rebounds. They go to 11 and two, and they're going to play Bethany on Wednesday. Oklahoma Wesleyan, they beat Sterling 74 67. Uh, Sterling's got a much better team. You know, remember a couple years ago, they were really down. Boy, the last couple years, that program has really renewed. It's good to see. Uh, in this game, DJ Tal- Dal- Talton Jr., 21 points, four rebounds, and six assists. Fill in the stat line. Dylan Phillip, 13.7 rebounds. And the, the Eagles will play Evangel on Wednesday. They're 13 and 1. So, again, looking at the the standings in the league, that's not going to work. Out that, or, sorry about that. But Oklahoma Wesleyan and Kansas Wesleyan both at, both at 7-1, and one, while Southwestern and McPherson are back a game, and then back one more game is Sterling and Evangel. Again, it looks like another conference is really going to come down to a dogfight. The Frontier Conference kicked off this weekend. Uh, Montana Western won, Carroll won. And then big game, Montana Tech versus Rocky Mountain. Montana Tech came out victorious in this in overtime. They won 85-80. to 80. Asa, Williams, Asa Williams has been playing amazing for Montana Tech the last probably three weeks, well, a couple of years, but he's really come on the last couple of weeks. 21 points, 8 rebounds. Michael Err, 22 points, 5 rebounds. Montana Tech, they're 11-3, and three, and they're going to play Montana State Northern on Thursday so Rocky Mountain now they go to nine and five and they're going to play Montana Northern on Saturday so they've just played one game in the Frontier but we'll keep we'll keep uh, updating you on the Frontier Conference as the season uh, continues here the GSAC they they kicked off this week they've played a couple of games now Uh, we're going to talk about that Jessup game in a minute but a, a non-top 25 game in that league, Menlo beat uh, OUAZ. In my experience, Menlo's going to bring it every night. Uh, they're, they're always big and strong. They're really well coached. Hope International is another team every year. Uh, they can be really scary. They Any one of these teams could give any team in the country trouble. And then we'll talk about the Masters and OUAZ. So Arizona, or the Masters in Arizona Christian. So... Arizona Christian loss at Z- uh, Jessup, another really tough place to win, uh, 84-72. Miles Corey, 25 points, 7 assists, 5 steals. If you haven't had a chance to to uh, get somewhere and watch Miles Corey or turn on the TV and watch him, you got to. He's uh, probably one of the most athletic guys in the country. Ty Artis, he had 17 points, 3 rebounds. Arizona Christian, they go to 12-4, and four, and they're going to play Life Pacific on Thursday the Masters they beat Vanguard that was a really good win for the Masters Vanguard's really tough this year Ty Harper 24 points two rebounds Cameron Oriel 28 points two rebounds they go to 13 and three and they're going to play OUAZ on Thursday again the standings whoops again the standings don't don't mean much they've only played a couple of games but the Masters and Jessup are 2-0, and and everybody else is less than that. Oh, let's go to the G-Pack. So Northwestern, they fall. Hang on, let me check something. Before we go to Northwestern, let's look at the rest of the games in the G-Pack. Jamestown won again in overtime. They beat Midland. Briarcliff and Doan, a four-overtime instant classic. Uh... Doan beat Briarcliff. Concordia, good win for them. Uh, they, uh, You remember they lost the other day. They beat Dakota Wesleyan. And then Morningside and Northwestern were both in action. So Mor- Morningside, or Northwestern, fell to Mount Marty. Mount Marty was 0-6 in conference going into this game. Northwestern's ranked 13th in the country. But I'm telling you, that's people talk about what the GSAC is. It is. Any, it's literally anybody can beat anybody, and this happens every year in the G Pack. They just all beat the heck out of each other. Uh, in that game, Cole Bowen, 17 points, five rebounds. Jared Lopez, 14 points, eight rebounds. Big win for Mount Marty. 
Uh, Northwestern, they go to 12-3, and three, and they're going to face Briarcliff on Wednesday. Okay, now think about this. Northwestern, 13th in the country, just lost to an 0-6 in conference team. They're, they've got Briarcliff coming to town. Briarcliff just lost in four overtimes. I'm guessing if you want to watch an intense game, that would be a game to watch. Both those teams are really going to want to win, win the next game. Morningside also in action. They took on Hastings. This was probably the game of the weekend. Hats off to uh, must, the Mustangs of Morningside. They won this game 81-76. Eli Doble, 26 points, 5 rebounds. And Jack Dotzler, 22 points, 2 rebounds. Morningside, big, big win for them in conference. They go to 11-3, and and they're going to take on Dakota Wesleyan on Wednesday. Again, let's look at the standings. Morning, Morningside and Hastings are both six and one. Northwestern a game back. Concordia a, a, another half game back. Dort a, um, two games back. So it it's still kind of a log jam. But Morningside and Hastings could and Northwestern could break away. We'll have to see. I'm not even going to guess. It's the G Pack in the WAC conference this weekend. Uh, Lords won in overtime again. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. Aquinas won. Cornerstone, good win for them. They beat Siena Heights. Indiana Tech wins again. Big win for Clary. They've really struggled. Uh, they beat Concordia this weekend. It probably wasn't a Concordia. wasn't thrilled with it, I'm sure. But it was good to see Clary get the win. Lawrence Tech won again. Uh, they're pretty good this year. So let's look at the, the Lords game. They won in overtime against Madonna. Now, this was a kind of... You know, everybody assumed this would be a, a knockdown drag out, and it was. Uh, Jackie Harris, 16 points, 11 rebounds. Sean Monroe, 16 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Lords goes to 11-1, and one, and they will play Clary on Wednesday. Again, let's go to the standings here. I don't think the WAC paid their light bill because this is really dim and hard to read. Lords is seven and one with Madonna and with Indiana Tech. They're all seven and one. One game back is Rochester, and then another game back is Aquinas. So these actually the these top four are are kind of separating. In the southern states, Dalton State beat Faulkner. Thomas beat Blue Mountain. Life defeated uh, Loyola. 86 68 and we're going to show where they are in the standings but a lot a lot of you are maybe new to nai basketball in the in the 80s and 90s i guess in the probably late 80s and the 90s life was just a perennial power uh they've slipped out slipped down a little bit the last few years uh, but they seem to really be coming to life no pun intended but uh, that is a historic program and if they get going look out William Carey, they won. And then Tennessee Southern won again. They beat Point. So let's take a look at the games. Uh, Mobile beat Bruton Parker 79-57. Look at Ezra McKenna. 30, remember the other day he had 18 rebounds. This time at 31 points, 17 rebounds. I think it's the hair. Damari Jones, 15 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. They go to 12-3. and three, And guess who they're going to play on Wednesday? At life. <laughs> oh, boy, make your plans. That's going to be a great game. So then in the southern states, uh, boy, it's, that's too big. So Tennessee Southern's 8-0. Life is 7-1. Mobile is 6-2. and uh, So that conference is really starting to shape up. You can see that life-mobile game is going to be huge. Chicago land. But I told you, I think everybody in the country played this weekend. St. Francis won, St. Ambrose, Roosevelt, and all of it, Nazarene. We'll talk about Judson won, and IU South Bend won as well. So let's uh, let's look at those top 25 games. All of it, Nazarene beat Indiana Northwest. This was a big game in the Chicagoland, a good win for All of it, Nazarene. Tyler Schmidt, man, he came to play. 35 points, 7 rebounds, 10 assists. Uh, Sam Emick's been playing well for uh, Olivet Nazarene recently. 
18.7 rebounds. So they go to 11 and 3 and they're going to play Holy Cross on Wednesday. Uh, Roosevelt, they nip St. Xavier. Oh, they did not want to lose another game. Forte Prater, 24 points, 4 rebounds. Sangole Nijai, 12.7 rebounds. They go to 12-2, and two, and they'll play St. Ambrose on Wednesday. Okay, let's make this a little bigger so we can see it. So Roosevelt and I and Indiana South Bend at 6 and 0 leading the conference. One game back is Olivet Nazarene and one game back from there is St. Ambrose. Keep an eye on that. This is going to be a, a tough conference race this year. In the Sun Conference, uh, I think you can see those Ave Maria won. Uh, we'll talk about Florida Memorial. Coast of Georgia beat St. Thomas. Kaiser beat Weber 86-81. Let's take a look at the uh this Florida Memorial loss. They lost, they fell to Warner. Warner is a great, a great program. Uh, they beat them 73 to 68. Blaze Darling Jr., 20 points, eight rebounds, eight assists. That's a pretty good game. Christian Nurse, 17 points, eight rebounds. Florida Memorial, though, they're okay. They go to 12 and 2, and uh, they're going to play at St. Thomas on Wednesday. I think they bill that the Battle of Miami Gardens or something. Should be a pretty good game. And that's on Wednesday. So in the Sun Conference, again, that was the first that was the first game of the year. So they're just kicking off. Okay, a couple uh, conferences that don't have anybody in the top twenty-five, but I wanted to go through them real quick. Uh, St. Mary's beat Rio Grande. Point Park was beat by Indiana Southeast. This was the first loss of the year for Point Park. Indiana Southeast, Southeast is the same team that beat, I believe it was Cumberland's, for their first loss. They're the giant killers. IU Kokomo, uh, they won. Brescia, they beat uh, Alice, Alice Lloyd and West Virginia Tech. These are a couple teams to really look out for. Shawnee State also won. River State's looks pretty tough this year. So let's look at the standings. Did you know St. Mary's of the Woods is undefeated in is undefeated in River State's play. Point Park, they kept, they took that loss. West Virginia Tech, all these three of these teams, Shawnee State, back one game. IU Kokomo is back. Another tight race. I love it when the conferences get going. And in the Appalachian Conference, Kentucky Christian won. I'm trying to get the... Kentucky Christian won, as did Montre. Union won again. Johnson beat Truett McConnell, Milligan won, and Pikeville won. This game, I, I started. This I'll show you when you see the standings. This was a huge game. Pikeville is just setting the pace. Uh, they everybody's kind of chasing them, and they're they're trying to get a break. But Pikeville just just won't won't give them a chance. So look at these standings here. Pikeville eleven and two. A game back is Union. A game back is CIU. See, this is the team Pikeville just beat, and then Johnson is a couple more games back. But these three are really locked in a battle. And up to this point, Pikeville has not blinked. Hey, I really appreciate everybody listening. Uh, and uh, I'm glad I got, I didn't know if I'd get back in time with the snow to be able to do the show for a Monday morning, but I'm glad I, glad I did. Uh, if you're a coach that wants to be on the show, if you're an SID of a program and you'd like to get your coach on the show, get a hold of me on Twitter or get a hold of me at CascadeHoopsTalk at gmail.com. I'd like to get as many coaches as we can this season. Hey, thanks a lot. Be safe, be careful, and get to your local NAI game and tell them Billy D sent you. Thank you very much for supporting our podcast. Please like and subscribe. Get out to your local NAI school because NAI basketball is the best entertainment value in America. <laughs>